One time this dude pissed his pants while uh, he was getting tattooed. <laughs> so that's a little, that's kind of memorable. I was like tattooing him, we stand up after it's done and there's like water on the floor. And I look and the guy's like pants is all wet. And so I was like, did you just piss your pants? And then he's like looking at me like, like I'm weird for asking him that. And he's just like, what, like you don't piss your pants when you get tattooed? That was, that was a good one. <laughs> I had a chick shit herself. Never had like, that happen. herself, bro. Like, I was rolling, dude. I'm sorry. It's funny, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> yeah. Like, she, her, her man You're came in. You're in the mood, you know? Her, her man came in and he was like, what the f I'm like, yo, that's your girl, brother. Well, that's that's the best, too, is oh they, they pass out, so they don't know what happened. It's so my mom wet. She didn't pass out, bro. Oh. She was just like, oh my God, I feel <laughs> nauseous. And I said, yeah, that's bad. I look, she was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Her man came in. I was like, yeah, that's your girl's that's real like bad. that player. He retired and he came to the shower three days after he retired. So he was like, I'm freshly reborn and I'm ready to get tattooed. It's my first, first one. And I said, sure, what do you want? And he said, uh, I want to get Santa Claus on my butt. Great. And Santa Claus grabbing one Budweiser and Rudolph drinking together. Sure, and as you can see, older people's skin is a little more stretchable. So he was sitting just like this, and my face is right across his bottle right here, tattooing. And I told him, there's no mistake this time. Whenever you want to go to the bathroom or so, just you should let me know. Butthole, my face, three hours. <laughs> Lovely. She's sitting there, I'm tattooing her back, and she stops me like, hey, I need a minute grabs my trash can, pulls it over, just yaks right into it as hard as like anyone that's been drinking all goddamn night. You know, wipes her face, slides it back and says, all right, let's do this. I've been farted on many times too. Is that weird? It's natural, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he came to me and he wanted the world's filthiest toilet, so I had to like put feces smeared down the side and stuff like written on the wall behind it. I can't remember what was written on there, but there was a um, Venus flytrap coming out too because I have a very whimsical notion of what is disgusting and filthy. Um, and I guess like a plant coming up and just like giving you a little smooch on the tush would be like pretty filthy while you're on the toilet. I plug in, plug in my machine, I start tattooing and she's like, she won't sit still. So I'm like, like, love, you gotta sit still if I, you want me to tattoo this shit. So she was like, cool. So she's like jumping the whole time. And I'm like, bro, like, does it hurt that bad? And she's like, no. She's like, no, it doesn't. I'm like, is it like tickling? She was like, no, no. So I'm like, dude, like relax. So come to find out she was having orgasms the whole oh, time I was tattooing her. Like my seat moist, like all kinds of, it was weird. It was weird. I'm just like, and I didn't get to finish the tattoo cause she wouldn't sit still, but. She definitely finished. <laughs> you know, I got another one about a, a little girl that was in the chair getting their boyfriend's name tattooed on her, but the little girl, uh, she didn't know that it was their boyfriend, so the big girl came in and yoked her little ass out the chair while she was getting tattooed. Don't get other people's boyfriend's name tattooed on you. A guy and a girl came in. The girl was the one getting the tattoo. She was super back and forth. She didn't have the best appearance, so I wasn't 100% sure, sure I wanted to touch her even in gloves. But she was there to get the guy she was with name on her arm, shoulder, wherever she wanted it, it was going to end up there. Except for she didn't turn her location off for her actual boyfriend, and then he came there and tried to fight her and the guy, and then I had to pit all three of them out. But this wasn't at my shop, this was at my old shop, but it was a full, like, it was like a 45 minute situation of like, back and forth, her locking herself in the bathroom, the, the one guy who came banging on the door, and then like, me busting the door open so she could get the fuck out. It was just like a whole shit show, like the wildest drug junkie story you ever heard. Wild. My, uh, I tattooed this, uh, I got this old biker client of mine, pretty cool guy, slightly intimidating, definitely like rough around the edges. He's got the name of an ex-wife tattooed on the back of his neck, and he wants to get the classic void stamp mm -hmm. over top of it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, ordinarily I'm like, nah, fuck that, but I've never done this, and I'm like, this is too cool to pass up on. So I'm doing the tattoo on his neck, and I'm like, yeah man, so what's the story between you and whatever so her and name so. was, yeah. And he's like, she died. And I was like, wow, I'm not asking you any more questions for the rest of this tattoo. I think it was like my first night being able to tattoo like without anyone else there. And there was this like softball crowd that came in and you know, 
they, they, they were females that played softball, so I'll leave it at that. One of them was getting tattooed, and she, you know, same sort of thing, was like, hey, I need to, you know, I need to go handle this. She would get a phone call, and she went outside, and then she was gone for a little bit, and I went out, and I heard, like, yelling and everything like that, and she was actually, like, fighting her ex-girlfriend in the street with this, like, half-done tattoo, and they were, like, I was like, what are you doing? And she was just like, no, it's cool. I'll be back in a second. And she comes in and she's all scraped up. She's just like, all right, we can keep going. Yeah, she won. <laughs> Definitely. Early on in my career, I was tattooing this guy's chest. And before we tattooed it, actually, I laid the stencil on him. And so we're like standing face to face, of course, while I'm laying the stencil on him. And he is probably 18. And he's like, after I laid the stencil, he's giving me like weird googly eyes or something. And he's like, can I kiss you? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 um, that was a no. He was filming a movie for his like Sundance debut on a GoPro. Right as I was about to start tattooing, he like, it ran out of battery and he had a fucking panic attack and he's like, we can't start, we can't. I was like, I hate you. <laughs> like, I need to do this tattoo so you can leave me. So this dude comes in, he's gotta be like 50s or 60s. He's got a fucking handlebar mustache and a mohawk and he wants to get his dead ex-girlfriend's portrait on his butt cheek. So I have to do it. And it's like some real tiny little 80s photo, like big hair. So I can tattoo this dude's butt cheek. And then he comes back later, like, I think like the next day, super fucking weird. He's like, I'm a nudist, so I'm totally fine with this. I'm like, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this because I'm 17 years old. He came back ne the next day to give me a $20 tip and then asked me out to brunch. And I said, I'm going to stay home. Dang, you should have got that so free much. brunch. I know, everyone says that. I'm not trying to do that with handlebar mustache, though. No, I'm not I trying to take man. that mustache for a I could do it for breakfast. I don't care. Yeah. When you have the parents that's like, oh, could I take a picture of you pretending to tattoo my kid? Like um, Santa Claus or oh, something. Oh, you've had that's those? The worst. Oh, God. I've, I've had them sit there and put the kid in the chair, and then the kid looks at me off. The kid's like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, it's all right. And then, like, it's like, Fuck, dude, like, then the kids start screaming and crying, and like, I'm like, I'm not doing anything, and the parents like, shut up, I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> so like, oh. She walked in the shop, had the outfit from uh, the Britney Spears uh, song, Hit Me Baby One More Time. She had like the pigtails and the schoolgirl outfit, but she's like 48, and then she goes, I want you to tattoo me. And I tattooed a scorpion on there, and she was like, the next dude that f***s me, I wanted to sting. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted his son's name from like his armpit down to his hip, like his underwear line. And I was like, dude, this is really big, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I have a lot of tattoos, I'm good. Five minutes in, he just started screaming so loud that one of the neighbors actually called the police because they thought someone was getting hurt. He was like six foot tall. I mean, I've had, s most of the people that have fainted have all been really big dudes, no offense. Okay, so I did have like a couple that came in. I thought they were a couple, but one was a female dominatrix and then there was like the man who was like her sub. So I was tattooing his <laughs> and he wanted property of and then the woman's name, right? And like it go all the way oh, around, all the way around the And he was a big buff dude. And then in the end, you know, she was like, I'm gonna need you to like whip him. And I'm like, so she just like pulls out this bag with like all these like floggers and like just all these things like whips and stuff. And I'm like, she's like, take your choice. And I was like, okay. And so I'm like, oh, I hate to like beat my clients, but I was like, I guess if this is what they're Whoa. paying for, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, tip me. So everything's cool. We decide on the tattoo, we decide on the price. Everybody's happy. Get the stencil put together, put it on her. All of a sudden the needle touches her and she's, Um, no, there, man, I had this guy came in, he's like, I need somebody without no morals. This guy, he's like, man, he's like, so I want to get like my back tattooed and I want the Garden of Eden, but across my shoulders, I want the devil throwing up an upside down cross with a skin naked woman. And then I'm a butt cheeks. I want two more crosses upside down with skin naked women. And I want images of myself prancing, he said, around the garden, stabbing <laughs> women in the <laughs> I mean, this dude had a severe, Hatred of women. Slipknot fan. And he, he let me know multiple times he wasn't gay. 
but boy, he wasn't into women. The imagery was less the problem, more the problem was like, I can't sit with this man yeah. for any length of time. I tattooed a portrait of Angelina Jolie on a guy's belly. That's awesome. That was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it would, she would get really fat every time he breathed <laughs> and very skinny. It was, it was pretty weird. Where was the belly button? Uh, belly button was right underneath her shin. So it was a very bad placement, too. It was horrible. It's like she had to take you out of it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's where he puts his yeah. cigarette smoke, dude. <laughs>